Hello and welcome to the Calculator Guy video on unboxing the Casio Classwiz FX85 GTX. Before we unbox the calculator, just want to say a big thank you to Stephen from Science Studio for sending me an advanced pre-release copy of this calculator to unbox with you. It should be available from January 2019 here in the UK. So if you want to get a copy of this calculator or indeed any other calculator, what you should do is to go over to Science Studio and check out the range that they've got there. And I shall put the link below in the description for you to be able to go over and have a look. So this is a new variation of the ClassWiz. I've been using the ClassWiz FX991EX for some time, a fantastic calculator. And now we have this version, the FX85 GTX, which I believe is intended to be a successor to the current FX 83 and 85 GT Plus calculator and will fit a similar sort of niche that that calculator occupies at the moment. So what I imagine is that will be discontinued and then replaced with the FX 85 GTX, which is driven by the ClassWiz technology. So what we'll do is we'll unbox it and then we'll have a look at what features are available on this calculator. So let's go ahead. So on the front we can see that we've got suitable for GCSE, national and higher grade and junior and leaving certificates, solar and battery power, I imagine there'll be an 83 GTX variety which will be battery only, driven by the AAA battery. Just on the box there we can see permitted for use in all school examinations in UK and Ireland and we've got a summary of some of the features available. Right, let's split open the box and take a look, relatively easy to open up there. We've got in the bag, we've got the user guide. So initial instructions on how to set up and what's available and probably the guarantee information in there. So sliding the calculator out, we can see that we've got um, a black cover on here and we've got the similar carbon fiber type design to what we find on the FX991EX. We've got, let's just take the um, protection strip off here we've got got black navigation keys on key menu etc at the top here rather than the silver chrome effect it looks quite good orange AC and delete keys let's just take the strips off here that connect the calculator to the casing those off right I've accidentally turned that on Press a few buttons there, so let's just clear that off and we'll slide that out. Let's take a look at the back. We've got uh, black design on the rear. Let's just take that extra strip off the top of the case there. And slot that calculator back in. Okay, and let's bring it in and just have a little closer look there. You can see the um, carbon fiber design on there, nice clear fonts displaying on the keys there. So similar in design to the FX991EX. Let's just press menu and have a look at what menus are available. We can see we've got four menus here. It's calculate statistics, table and ratio. I'm just gonna navigate over to table mode and take a look at something in there. We've got our FX here. Um, so I'm gonna put it in a function of X, 5X and press equals. And yes, we've got the dual table feature here which is going to be very useful for comparing functions we've got a space to input a gx i'll just input 6x minus 2 equals i'll just keep start and end and step as default and yes we can compare two functions there and look at the results that are given so that's excellent so i'll just place that down and we'll just have a look at it so we've got four available menus there, so not as extensive as the FX991EX, definitely a stripped down version of the ClassWiz here. We do have a dedicated recurring decimal feature here, which is quite useful. That was absent on the FX991EX, uh, although you still could input recurring decimals. But set up in, in a similar way, we've got menu with the icons here uh, rather than text. We've got the option feature as well to have a look at the different options within the mode. So what I suspect that this will supersede the FX85 GT Plus that I imagine will, Casio will discontinue going forward and this will be the go-to model for, well, I imagine from 
Uh, for students from 11 to 16, this is going to be a popular calculator to use within schools, etc. Uh, certainly year 7 to 9 here in the UK would be a good calculator. Um, for GCSE, I think if you are aiming for a higher grade, so if you're aiming uh, for 7, 8 or 9 and you're thinking about continuing maybe doing a level maths i would definitely recommend getting the fx 991 ex because there's going to be additional features there that will support doing some of the more advanced questions at gcse as well as then following that through to do a level maths i think if you are a gcse student maybe aiming for a four five a standard pass or a strong pass perhaps doing the foundation level gcse this is going to be a fantastic calculator for you strip down it's got all the functions you need really nothing unnecessary on there it's going to probably be a bit faster i imagine than the older 85 gt plus plus of course as we saw that it's got dual table mode as well i believe from reading the information that it's also got the summary statistics as well so you can get the summary statistics page with the mean and the median etc just put up on that summary statistics page i think quarter one and quarter three is there as well so the upper quartile and lower quartile so lots of useful information on the statistics mode there and ratio as well uh, there's several different ways that that can help you uh, if you're doing ratio questions or comparative questions or i've done a video previously with um capture recapture method which you can find on the edxl gcse so I will be doing two future videos involving this calculator. One, just doing a comparison with the FX85 GT Plus, just to have a look at what's different, what's new about it, and why you may wish to upgrade to this new ClassWiz version. And I will do a second video comparing this with the FX991EX, just having a very brief look at some of the features that are available and not available on this particular model in comparison to the FX991EX. But that's it for this video, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time on The Calculator Guide.